Ethereum price has been a little sloppy from a structural analysis standpoint. Even from horizontals or my typical tilted ranges that I use, it's been a little harder. But look behind me right now. This looks like, you know, if it breaks out of one of these, again, this is the daily 89 right here in purple and they're labeled daily 10. I'll zoom in even more. Hell, I'll go to the three minute chart so we can really see this. So this, the having these two EMAs on your Ethereum chart, even though uh, this is not what's in, so daily 89 is not in play for Bitcoin. Daily 89 on Bitcoin is up at like 24,000 bucks or something. Um, anyway, for Ethereum, having these two as your guide for Friday and leading into the weekend is going to give you such a clear indication because structurally Ethereum's been sloppy. It's been hard to play. So just think of it like this. If you can get above and use this as support, bullish. If you go below the daily 10 and use it as resistance. So again, I said, and as if I were like, you know, on the toilet trying to squeeze it out and for e emphasis and use it as resistance, then you're bearish. Simple as that. And on top of that, the implications of that are that you would probably get pretty good continuation. I don't think it would be a super small move. So because I'm not going to guess which way I just want, I'm, I'm here to let you know the ease, how I find the easiest way to read this chart and you could be prepared for either direction and you'll know what price will look like, right? Which I actually haven't drawn this out. So let me, let me draw it out. Uh, Cause I know, I have a team leader who loves uh, on Discord who loves me drawing squiggly lines. So I'll extend the purple and I'll extend the white. Okay, daily 10, daily 89. So upwards. So this is why I say and support because look, it spiked above. Did it use it as support coming down? No. Spiked above, did it use it as support? No. Spiked above, did it use it as support? It it, it bounced under it, so it did not use it as support. Lower high, bam, right? And use it as support. So w the way it's going to move. So I don't want to tell you, like, I actually, I don't have a guess. I honestly, I, I'm not guessing. I'm going to show you how it's going to move either way, right? I hope, and hopefully that's valuable. Um, a, lot, a couple of my other videos where I clearly said, I don't know which way it's going to go. Just I described be one direction, maybe more than the other. Um, I had people say, no way that's going to happen. Well, I just said, I don't know. I, th I'm just drawing it for you. So you know what it'll look like if it happens. That's all I'm doing. I'm trying to help. Stop getting mad. Like, fuck, <laughs> I'm doing this for free. All you got to do is watch my ads and, and hit the thumbs up button and hit a subscribe and hit the uh, bell um, if you are new to the channel and put on all alerts because I'm going to help you out on your crypto journey. All right. And re especially returning viewers, uh, hitting those like buttons helps my the algo so I can continue making videos for you for real. It really does. Uh, as as stupid as it is for me to have to beg for <laughs> I hate doing it, but it, it does make a big difference. Anyway. All right. So I'm going to draw this out for you. Um, a resistance to the downside. It'll probably, you know, It'll probably hover like this, boom, make lower lows, boom, 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 and then start heading down. Something to that, eh, it won't look like that, boom. So to the downside, something sloppy like this, and to the upside, oh, I can't flip it. I thought I could flip, uh, I, can't, I guess I can't flip my drawings. That would have been convenient though, because it's gonna be literally this inverted, um, and I could, I could have just dragged it up. So if it goes up, it'll go boom, fake out, lower high then it'll start yeah it'll probably go like this and then work its way up like that boom so it would look a little different to the downside it would probably be so it would interact with this daily 10 as resistance but it'll still spike above it but it won't be able to use it as support so it'll be like one time not at support two times not so this being not used as support the white line uh maybe i should make this not white and use my brain a little harder and make it red because that's bearish and make this green because it's bullish. Oh, now we're thinking. All right. I'm trying to make this as easy and simple as possible. So to the downside, what you might see is um, it, uh, it starts missing the white line as support. And then after a few of those, it then doesn't even get above it. 
and that's when you know it's getting ready to fall over. Does that make sense? Daily 10 EMA on Ethereum. Uh, a lot of, and so how I would suspect that it would move to the upside is it'll spike above, miss it as support, so not use it as support, make a lower high, then use it as support, and then start wiggling its way up. Something to this effect is how I would anticipate it happening, right? Now let's look at uh, some targets on where it'll go, depending on which one of these happens, because it's going to happen soon. It might happen over the weekend. Um, it, yeah, it might be the weekend instead of Friday. And Friday could be like a big wick up, but it doesn't use this as support or a big wick down and it doesn't use this as resistance. That's why I said and as if I were on the toilet, right? And just because it goes like 5% up doesn't mean shit, especially not tomorrow when we're expecting a fake out. It's what happens when it reinteracts. But that does give you a great signal because if it spikes above, you know it's going to come back and touch it. If it is actually going up, right? It has to come back and it will. It will come back and touch it. And same thing, if you see it spike below this daily 10 tomorrow, like with just it just flies below, you know it's going to come back up to touch it and bump its head on it with an extremely high probability, extremely high, um, right? So uh, before we do some targets, just for anybody who doesn't know, I have visual instructions uh, and just the good old Discord invite link in the description section of all my videos if you want to check out the community. Uh, Twitter is closest fair to this with the number two. And the uh, the YouTube tiers give you first dibs on questions on these live chats, which most of you here know that. Uh, but in addition, it's similar to the Cryptilian tier on Discord, but you do things on your time uh, with recordings and the alerts. Uh, but you sacrifice that pro. The sacrifice to that is uh, you don't catch me live and you can't turn your microphone on and ask me questions like the Cryptilians on Discord can. All right. And let's take a look at these levels. I don't need EMAs for levels really yet. All right. So you would have, actually, let's zoom out here a little bit. Eh. All right. If, if things really do get continuation. So remember the, the purple and white line here. So now you can barely, you know, you can barely see those, right? Because we're zoomed out. But then, and we're going to get a bigger move from that. That small area will create a, a pretty decent sized move. Let me actually get rid of these horizontals. So let's add stuff slowly. And I guess I can just get rid of all this real fast. There we go. Obikami. What we can see here are, oh, I didn't uh, zoom out for origin lines on that Bitcoin portion. All right, so these are origin lines. Goes all the way back to the beginning of price. See that? Boom. All right. So zooming in, where is price related to origin lines? Exactly in the middle. So your larger upside or downside targets, not immediate, right? So if, if this is the upside target, you might have a pump, a pullback in one. It might take two moves to get there, right? So I'm not talking about the first move. It could take two little pumps to get there or downside target. It could take, you know, it could take out this low and pump back up and then finally hit this. So I'm not saying straight there. It could take two moves either way because these are a little farther out. Uh, and from a percentage basis from current price. If I could learn how to use trading view real fast, that'd be great. 10% to the upside. 16% to the downside. I'll put some prices on it for you. And that's why you uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up if I could throw that out one more time. I'm trying to break this down as easily as possible. Hell, I'll go to the 15-minute chart so we can see this. Take a look. Oh, it would take a little longer. Let me put this about right here. Because you can go, you could just make a pretty educated guess the, 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 how fast it would get there by the slope. So there just, that's an educated guess. Does it have to hit it there? No, it could hit it sooner by, you know, because maybe it breaks above this, uh, this horizontal here, which it's test, you know, it's, uh, it's chilling right now. It's chilling at this horizontal and it breaks above and it goes faster. So, you know, it could hit it a little sooner. It's not dictated to hit it here. Right. But I'm just making an educated guess. And then to the downside, I would think it would be maybe a slower move, but I will put it parallel to that. So I'll put it up. 
Wrong, wrong way. Because uh, crypto price and and honestly, um, traditional market price, S and even the indices like S and P five hundred index, uh, um, IXIC, which is for Nasdaq, they like symmetry. So that's why I'm putting a horizontal or a vertical line here. And just, I'm going to paste this. That'd probably be about the pace it gets there, too. Just symmetry. I don't know why, but it, it, it there, there's a lot of symmetry in price once you start really looking at it. Show something like this. There we go. And these would be my two price targets. And again, there would be movement and bumps and bounces on the way to either one. I think it would take two swipes to get to either one. And it is possible that, um, you know, it comes up shy of this. Or it comes up shy of this as well because there might be a horizontal in play below it. But these would be my bigger targets for resolution. And again, this is all resolution from the purple on top and the white on bottom. This would be the bigger of the move before something like reverting back to the mean or the average uh, before that would happen. It is possible that the uh, that the effect from breaking out of purple and white from the beginning is a little smaller than this because this 16 percent move the breakout of those two emas might not uh, propel a 16 percent move so let me give you a second option on when you get that signal that very very easy signal you know where m might it stop um i would say it would want to to the de uh let me zoom out even more Yeah, so I can, so if you can see, here, let me zoom in a little bit more. So what I'm looking at is, I want to see where does this structure here line with, and what does this low here align with? I, I, and I want to, I don't know what it's going to line with, because I'm just doing this out on the fly here. But from here to here, that structure could be of interest. So it hits that line, how, how long after? That hits it a week after my guess, but if uh, and that price, if it hits at the same area that I'm thinking, well, it's pretty damn close. All right, so I don't know if it'd be that one. Um, gosh, honestly, you know what? It looks like if it takes out these lows, it will hit the origin line. So I would say, if these are from the resolution of purple and white. If these resolutions of that breakout are too big to the downside, I would guess it's just some, you know, roughly 45 degree angle from this low, something like this, uh, to line with a higher horizontal like here. And if it goes, uh, where are we? Right about there. Yeah, I, it would probably stop there if this is not the right target. But if you start breaking below this point, especially about about 1600 then you are looking at 1400 i don't think there's anything else to stop it um yeah if you break 1600 i think you're going straight down here probably get a that's probably where you get a baby you know you could get a baby bounce and it looks like it's bouncing and then it crashes through but it would still go below that point at some time right even if it bounced there first went below but so i would honestly i would slap these levels on my chart if 1600 is broken then 14 roughly 1400 is your target it's going gonna, it's gonna to go down a lot because there's nothing to stop it. I'm telling you, there's nothing to stop it. There's nothing in play, nothing in play, right? To the upside, so if the resolution of purple and white, if this is too high and the guess is wrong, then let me look. Oh, yeah, this one's more obvious. This one's way more obvious. So it would be, it would stop about uh, maybe up to this wick. So I like this wick here, wick down, wick up so i i like it i like this wick here and that wick right there i like those two because it kind of encompasses all of this and all of this jazz but speci for specificity's sake i like the wick right there and the wick right there and that's from may 11th so let me drag that And so the resolution to the upside could be kind of small, but also if 1762 is broken to the upside from the resolution of the of the purple and white, if it goes above the purple, if this is broken above, 
this i mean it's gonna go straight maybe not actually probably almost straight up to 1850 something 1850 1860 so if broken down to 1400 if broken up to 1850 and don't lose sight of the more immediate what's in play actually i didn't throw on uh emas and eh, it would still go into that uh so the immediate play is daily 89 EMA and daily 10 EMA. Boom. You don't have to make yours purple and white, you you know, uh, but whatever your 89 is, you should, it just, it's better just to always make it the same color. That's just my color schematics. Um, usually my, my uh, 10s are red, but since I'm using the four hour 10 a lot, that's red. I, I've just made my daily 10 white. Um, and so this is the immediate stuff and it's going to, but remember on the toilet and support or, and resistance. Don't get fooled by, Oh, it's going up or, Oh, it's going down. No, it's got to use this and resistance on the toilet. So purple and white on the toilet. That is the most basic and probably accurate way that you can describe how Ethereum will move over the next, uh, 10 days on the toilet. Here we go. <laughs>